Hi everyone, welcome back to Plumber Parts. Now, some of you, long time fans of the channel, are gonna go, oh, these are in suddenly. He's back in his bathroom, he's doing some work there. Well, I am, and there's gonna be a video about the installation of this shower valve in a few weeks time, once I've got it edited. But today, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to install a bath screen over a bath. So let's get on with it. It's best just to get on with it, isn't it? Hey! <laughs> this is where you get your biceps out and lift it up the stairs. Oh my God. Right, so let's cut the old beast out. This is probably not the best place to do it, but I'll just keep all our mess to one room. This one here, I bought from Plum World. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. If you want to go and buy it from them, you can if you like. I wasn't paid to make this video, but some people moan like hell when I don't tell them where I bought something from. Always have little bits and bobs in there. Pop them over here, nice and safely out of the way. Now we've got the important bit, the instructions. The instructions are important and look like this. Six millimeter folding square bath screen guide. Ah, oh, it's got a fold in it. Thanks for picking the one with the fold in it, Emily. Um, okay, so pretty standard stuff, really. <whistles> Very nice indeed. Drilling wall to the profile, la 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 la. We've just got to get everything out without damaging anything, which is never easy, this sort of thing. Standing nice, the only way forward with this sort of thing. So they have a lot of these little profiles. They're kind of last in the job. Any of these like plastic profile pieces that look like that, they're pretty much last on the job, okay? So we won't be just, we'll just pop them out of here, out of the way. Otherwise we'll tread on them and ruin them. This is our main bit of door here, looking at it. <coughs> Gesundheit. So just in case you've bought one and you're like, where's the profile, I can't find it. Usually it's actually attached on here. The first thing we really want to do is just get our profile on the wall. Just do this one bit at a time. The profiles are generally just this with extruded aluminium, uh, a couple of holes down the back. And then also, if you look, we've got a flat on here and then a slightly curved piece on there. I'm gonna guess the curved piece goes to the outside, but we'll make sure of that in a few seconds time. And straight away, refer to the instructions. What do you think they mean by that then, eh? Right, that last bit of glass, that can go in there in a minute. So this piece of glass here, we'll put that round here out of the way. I don't know why they do this with this stuff. It's, it's now annoying. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That sounded worse than it was, Emily. So I'm thinking that our profile is gonna go on the outside of this because there's this like little curve bit here. Don't know why, but they've said this is what we need to do. Or maybe it's because there's like a protective film or something on the, on the glass, it could be that. But because this is right, we want this to be right-handed, we've got to undo this, this sort of thing. A lot of this stuff is built in a way that is slightly Mental. So that comes off there. I like this. This is a good idea, isn't it? I like to stop all the splash going through. So that one we have to put on the bottom. So I'm gonna put that down there. Still don't really know why we've got to do this, Max. I've got to say, I'm still confused. Remember, if you're gonna unscrew Phillips head screws, do it with a very long screwdriver that's also slightly bent. Makes it a lot easier. So this one now goes on this end. Mate, what is going on here? Do you think their instructions are right? Do you, I honestly don't know what's going on. So that, this one says it's got to go here. It says it's the other way up. Do we move the whole bit round? Like that? In which case, what have we done? So I've got to feed that little bit into there. Like so. Generally this sort of product is I don't know, you can never really feel comfortable fitting them the first time, just because it's somewhat difficult. <laughs> and usually that's because of instructions, but we're gonna solve that problem for everyone today, aren't we? You guys are never gonna have to worry about it because I'm doing it for you. So that little bit threads in there, that bit goes on there. Yay, we've, we've done it, don't know why. Simple job now, all we need to do is get ourselves a spirit level and get our profile up on the wall, which is generally very, Simple part of the job. I just want to make sure our profile, when we push it on, it's going to sit nicely on there. I'm happy. Are you happy, Max? I'm happy. Right, so I've got a laser level, but you don't have to use a laser level. You can use a spirit level if you're old school. The good thing about laser levels is you can get your level and it's there for the rest of the sort of time you're working. So if I get that and just pop it right out over the way, over here, I can just pull that level 
just there like so and then now I've got it the whole way for the rest of this job and I, you know I can walk in the way of it a bit if I like but it's you know I can I can then move out of the way of it as well so I can see where I've got to drill me holes all right so now we've got our laser level on here I can put up a bit like so what I might do actually is just bring this out a little bit just so it's just a bit further out to here but I can still use my laser level to get that exactly right as to where I want it and then I'm just going to mark these holes up, get them drilled. It's actually reached. I mean, look at that Sharpie. That's had a hard life, isn't it? But it's my only Sharpie I've got. Now we're going to get the drill. Great drill bits on here. So these are Bosch drill bits on here. They don't need cooling, these ones. Now you guys will remember that I put a beam in here specifically to take the weight of a door. So we should all be good. When it comes to beam. So I shouldn't actually need to use plugs. I prefer to use my own screws for this sort of stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, nip that up a tree, isn't it? That's because I put wood in there. And we're going on to plywood under all that. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm gonna give this an Amazon book review when I'm done. I should have got this on Kindle. Maybe they'd have done a better job of the drawings. Okie dokie, great. So now we just push that in, and then we've got to drill three holes. Now this is the bit that I get annoyed, <laughs> along with a lot of other times of my life that I do get quite annoyed. It's the fact that they don't ever supply the drill bit to go to make the three holes with, which means I've got to go to my drill bits box and find a drill bit that will do it with. Fortunately, I know I've got that but it is annoying. Right, so bottom first. And then once you've got one in, it will just push all the way in. Like so, all right. So I've got to get up here. This is like our holding one. It's hard to do as well. If you're on your own, this is not easy. So you want to maybe want someone to help you hold this up. This bit is always difficult getting these started. Sometimes I wish I'd put a slightly bigger hole in. <laughs> oh, there you go. And then a nice little decorative cap to put on there because that's important. And these are usually a nightmare to get on. <laughs> but that's gone on. It's a complete treat. I think with this sort of thing, the takeaway I want for you to get from this video is that even for plumbers, for us who've done this for years, it can be quite stressful work this because you're, you're doing the finish of a job and this is where a slight slip can make everything go, I mean, I don't want to tempt fate or anything, but, but it can make things go, you know, a bit peak tong. That is time, man. That ain't going nowhere. Not that one on here. And then boom, we're down the bottom. so tight <laughs> if you're a company out there that sells products to the uk and you want someone to make videos for you to tell people exactly how to install them then please get in contact because i don't want to do it for the money although i will get paid obviously i want to do it so people know what they're doing one there for that side one another one i mean is it right you just don't know do you right so we get the brackets on now <laughs> Brackets are going on, look at this baby. And look, we've got little rubber membranes on here just to make sure that it's all nicely uh, protected. Even though they're not quite the right size for the hole. The thing is, this sort of work, you just have to have so much care because, you know, you get any of it wrong or you drop something or something happens. Not only can it ruin the job, but if you're doing this professionally, it can completely negate any profit you made on all of it. Uh, I've, I've had that happen a few times. Uh, radiator, someone dropped something on a radiator and the radiator was like one of those designer ones and it literally, like the, like the installation of the radiator itself, you know, there was no profit in that job after that because of what happened. So that opened that way. Yeah, beautiful. So that should now flop out like that. So that should stop here. Like that should be a place where it stops. So should this. 
that's why we changed those bits over at the bottom. We didn't know why at the time, but now we do. Look at that, it's, it's perfectly in there as well. <laughs> Right, I'm guessing we're gonna take these off now. I mean, I'm not reading the instructions anymore. I've got to a stage where I think I can figure it out myself, which has never, ever gone wrong. It has gone wrong many times. Ask Emily, did you read the instructions? Did you make sure that it was a gravity fed one? I hope you like are learning how to do it, but also, either learning that you shouldn't be doing this yourself <laughs> or just sort of watching me struggle. Right, I'm not gonna tighten these up fully yet because we've got to get the profiles on or I might need a little bit of wiggle either way. But when that actually folds all the way out, wow, I mean, that does go a long old way, isn't it? You're only gonna completely soak the toilet. Right, these bits I often struggle with. It's not, it's just cause I, I don't, you know, I just think, well, what the hell are you telling me to do here? So that bit I know what to do with, that goes in the middle. This bit here. Oh, well, I mean, it's here, isn't it? I mean, it does something. It doesn't mention that little bit at all. That bit, it's not mentioned. Maybe it's in there just to keep everything straight. It might just be an off cut. Got two bottom pieces here for the door. The piece that goes out like this generally is the piece you want on the inside. So then as stuff falls down, it runs off and away from your door at the bottom. It does say on the instructions that we have to cut something back, uh, but it doesn't really tell us what. So, yeah. So it's we've got to cut this little flat back. Mm, it's not it's very easy to do. Let me pull it around this way. Lucky I've got a sharp Stanley knife. And then that will go right up. Should do it up there like that, and then over, there you go. See that? Beautiful. So really, it would be a good idea that this was on here now, but it ain't. <laughs> so, but they don't say you do that in the instructions, so we're just gonna bring that to there. And cut your fingers off. Don't do it, Jimmy. Right, let's start at the bottom, pop that on there, and then push it down so it's touching this bit here like that. And then we push it as hard as we can. I always think this is when you're on a job, and you're around someone's house doing this, and they kind of don't see any of this. You see the struggle. You've, I mean, the thing is, you just watched me cut that bottom bit. Now you know, you don't have to worry about it. What's the time? Where, where are we going? Ah, oh, 10 past five. Right, okay, so we're, we're winning now, aren't we, I think? So the, the glass nearest to the wall is slightly higher than the glass that we put on it. So I've just got to slack, slacken off these little hinges because they've got quite a lot of play in them and then I should be able to lift it up quite nicely. Um, I would consult the instructions on how to do that, but no. Right, so these bits here, having looked at the almost ancient type instructions, I just can't figure out how they work. And also, when I've tried to put it in the positions where I think it should be, doesn't appear like it really does anything and it looks awful. So I'm not putting this on. And you can guys comment, if any of you have done this one before, comment, what's it for? I'm not gonna throw it away, I'll keep it. And if someone can tell me what it's for, I will then put it on. I'll leave a picture to this particular section on the community tab on YouTube. Right, there's a cap at the top. And then we're gonna to get to a nice easy bit that I know how to do, which is silicon in. I'm good at that. This bit just pops in up here. There we go, that's done. Right, next bit, just run a bead of silicon down there and round the outside. But we'll try this the old school way. And always give it away. So if it's falling on the inside of this quadrant bit, it can then flow back into the shower. Mm -hmm. 
So then, there you go, installed. Probably a few little tweaks to do um, in the next couple of weeks. Probably put a curtain in instead. <laughs> it's in there now, I'm sure it'll be fine. Once I get a bit of help, I'm gonna slacken these off and just lift this up a bit. Um, I have kept that piece, and if I find out what it's for, I'll tell you. But with silicon that up there, it's all sealed up down here at the bottom. It isn't gonna leak. So it's just a matter of me hoovering up and clearing up in this job now, but it's all done. If you've got any comments about this video, which I'm sure a lot of you will do, please put them below. If you like this video, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video here as well, of me installing this whole bathroom, starting off on this fantastic job. There's about 10 or 15 videos all about the bathroom renovation, so watch that now. See you soon.